With fierce competition for research funding, the ability to communicate your ideas is almost as important as the research itself, which is where the three-minute thesis competition comes into play. 22 competitors from a variety of disciplines have just three minutes to present their work to a general audience. It's almost like you're uh, watching a whole heap of trailers for movies. You get a bit of a, a bite of information and if you become engaged then you can come back and try and learn more about that particular topic. Psychopaths and entrepreneurs are both risk takers. They're both go-getters. They both persist through adversity. My research is unique in that it takes this idea of cuteness in the fashion movement seriously. I'm here today to talk about the future, about opening the window to plastic solar cells which are produced cheaply like printing a newspaper. Imagine you went to the supermarket and you looked down at your shopping list and you realised you didn't actually know what any of these words meant. Now my research won't prevent any of you from dying, but if I can make it easy for all of you to compose, perform and improvise your own music, then I, for one, can die happy. Thank you. Being able to condense your research in a meaningful manner into three minutes is something that all academics could learn from. There's prize money at stake, along with the winner representing UNSW at a national and international level. The competitors are marked on communication, comprehension and engagement by a high-profile panel of judges and VIP high school students from UNSW's Aspire program. The program helps students achieve their full potential through exposure to university life. The three minute thesis this year uh, was amazing. I came last year and it was astounding and this year topped it by 10%. I'm really inspired by the three minute thesis because it showcases the range of things you can learn at university rather than in closed mind subjects yeah. at school. Yeah, it inspired me to go uni and to, I'm probably thinking of doing masters as well. This is ridiculously hard and we're really struggling. So we've got our top three, which has become a top five, and we're trying to pull it down to a top three, and we'll get our top one by midnight. <laughs> I'd like to reward about a dozen prizes, not, uh, or 21 prizes, not, not two. But there can only be one winner. And the first prize of the 2013 UNSW Interfaculty Finals goes to Sharon Savage. I have lots of ideas for my research, I'm very passionate about what I do, so I think this was a great opportunity to talk to quite a large number of people who are from very diverse fields, so getting the message out to a broader community. It's very difficult to, uh, to make your research uh, concise enough to fit in the three minutes, and I feel as though everyone did a really good job for that today, so I was chuffed uh, to be chosen as the runner-up. The People's Choice Award for me is the only award that matters. You know, way to go guys, thank you for your votes. It's actually a really great award to win, particularly because my topic is so serious and not at all fun. And for 16 year olds to say that that was the topic and that was the presentation they liked the most is actually quite an extraordinary privilege. Yeah.